Hey, hey, y'all. So, this build was actually too powerful for infected advanced solo. So, I'll show you how it starts out, but then I had to jump into Wanted, which is a single target map, but still, I ate through it. The entire build is over damage over time and spawning anomalies. The reasons for that are what comes on the ship. The trait itself spawns these little guys, lost souls that tear things up on anomalies. The console, which is exotic particle, procs off of damage over time, i.e. why I'm using plasma weapons. And the experimental weapon, outdoes the silicon wave impeller on a single target so i just left it on there these are all crafted plasma weapons with the pen proc and as you see there they have a damage over time so i chose plasma there are other weapons that do it and the two-piece tilly for the hull restoration of course and that's from Discovery Rep. Also, the shield that comes with Tilly does additional shield damage, which just helps the, the shield pen. My two of my consoles, at least, come from the Discovery Store and Lorca's Custom Fire Control. From Task Force Omega, I'm using the assimilated module for the mainly the control it gives me. And before anybody beats me up in the comments, I'm using the Zatvash shield. From counter command, I made the plasma turret and its console for the additional plasma boost. It gives you a bonus to all your weapons. And here is wanted on elite. It is a single target map, but I have no problem getting through it. So from the fleet research lab, I have a restorative generator with control and exotic particle. There are two flavors. The bottom one gives you the exciter, an extra tick of damage. The one on top, which is the one I'm using, has a chance to give you a heal when using a science ability. The next place we went to was the colony world and I got my attack console for survivability from here and the deflective dish, which is this lady. So yeah, the, be careful which one you select. For our purpose, we're, we are going to select the plasma one. And by the way, if you have like a particle emissions torpedo, uh, the plasma torpedo from Leap of Faith, it will help this type of build. And that's the one I'm using. Although two down from that is one that gives extra exotic. And there's the Fecklair Tormented Engine for its DOT and Plasma bonus. There's a Plasma Torpedo there. I recommend it. And as you can see, I'm just plowing through Wanted. So from the Fleet Spire, we get these two Plasma consoles plus Crit Chance. Very important. They come in a variety of flavors. They also come in crit severity. So for our purpose, we're picking up plasma. Go right over to the ship vendor. And you can use any ship vendor, by the way. And what you're gonna look up is this ship and get the M6 computer 
for fire cycle haste and a whole bunch of bonuses. Crit chance duty officer. Crit severity duty officer. I have two nurses for hull regeneration. And I have a beam overload officer. This is my skill tree optimized for DOT damage or exotic. My secondary specialization is temporal for the entropic rider. And my primary is intelligence officer. Here are the abilities I'm using. And if you're enjoying this or getting something out of it, please subscribe and let somebody know about me. And here are all the traits. The magic happens in the personal space traits mainly. So we'll just flash them up. We have Particle Manipulator, Adaptive Offense, Duelist Fervor, Intelligent Agent Attaché, and Innocuous, which are all just jiving together to give me extra damage. And Particle Manipulator is free. Operative, self-modulating fire, Terran targeting system. The most expensive one is the Boimler effect. Unconventional system is a must have and superior cannon training. Now we have the ship traits, withering barrage, tear open the gates, improve arrest. So tear open the gates is from the ship, improve arrest is from your specialization trees and they're free one impossible thing at a time improve critical systems and improve temporal insights they're both from finishing your recruits I believe one is Delta and the other one I can't remember I think it's temporal very important to lock in your power levels where you're at and then for your reputation traits, you have magnified firepower, precision, enhanced armor penetration, and advanced targeting, which are all pretty darn important. And last but not least is the Chrono Capacitor for additional bridge officer cooldown. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it, subscribe, leave me a comment. Mwah. Love y'all.